the Dragon node uh, can be used to modify an uh, array of vectors. In this example, I start with a vector array, which is used to uh, define a piece plan surface. I use the tracker to modify this vector uh, grid, and then I display uh, from the modified data a new piece plan surface, and I also uh, display a grid of the surface. So let's start. Uh, I have here some methods. The first method uh, in this case is uh, that I uh, start. When I start, I get here the um, placement uh, tools for the poles of the surface. I can display it when we look here at the information uh, of the surface we see this data. So now um, it's possible to move such a pole and in the next step I run a uh, recalculate of all and I see uh, in this case uh, the surface changes. Okay, and what we can do next, we can say we want an auto uh, update. So I use a timer and I connect the timer with the tracker to update the data. And I start the timer and I see here how the information flows. And now I can go back to my project and I can say I now move a pole and the surface is updated without extra uh, operations of me. Okay, I stop the timer again. I disconnect it here so I can go back to the tracker. So the next functions are I can, hopla, I can stop and hide the placement uh, tools. I can restart them. I can stop and can reset them. When I restart, then I start with the old position of the uh, initial vector array. That means this is the databases. Here we can modify the data and uh, put them here. And when I reset, I reuse this, this data.